Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a chart nerd technical analysis video. Today, we will be discussing Velo on the daily time frame. I've been covering Velo a hell of a lot on Twitter, so do head over to my Twitter. My at handle is C Payne, so that's C W E P A I N E, and you can follow all of my in depth analysis and content there. Now, I wanted to point out both scenarios that I'm looking at here. So, I've got bullish target for us and i've got a bearish target for us and two potential thought experiments or plays that could be on the horizon here so let's start with the bullish scenario on the daily time frame now this was pointed out to me by pure one of velo's top creators uh on on twitter and she was pointing out to me that we've got this left shoulder uh, we've got this head and potentially right now we're in the formation of this right shoulder now if this pattern does come into play we do have a technical target from the neckline of this head and shoulders back down to its uh head and when you get the breakout wherever it is along this this trend line that we're, we're we need to break above we have a technical target and you can see that this on average would bring us back up to the 0.02 range now for this to play out we do need to see us break above this resistance and hold above it for a couple of days before looking to meet this target and what we potentially could be in here is a potential this was a large wave one we've had a wave two back for the right shoulder and if we break out then the technical target up to this two zero range could be a wave three before pulling back for a higher level of support and looking for the final retest uh, back up to this local high at 0 0.028 so potentially that could be a play right now and what we've done is from this five wave correction that we we had back here which is actually where we started to form this head and shoulders so you can see that it has tied up relatively nicely here if this is to be the play because what we would have is this wave three into wave four was the left shoulder the final fifth wave was the head and then our wave one has been the start of the right shoulder and the wave two is the, the corrective point of this right shoulder before looking for the breakout, potentially putting in this wave three up to 0 0.020, which is this local high here of the wave two on the way down in this wave five, <laughs> and potentially could be our wave three resistance before pulling back to wave four, which ironically ties up perfectly with this previous level of resistance back here in April that we could turn into support if we come back for after meeting this inverse head and shoulders target. So I hope you're with me. Uh, it all works in waves of support and resistance. So we've come down in five waves. Within that five waves, we've started this impulsive move, looking to form this inverse head and shoulders before breaking out, running into previous resistance on this wave three, coming back for wave four support on this previous resistance before looking for the wave five, which takes us back up to these May highs. So that is my potential uh, play here for the bullish scenario. And the main thing to keep our eyes on is this inverse head and shoulders and this coming into fruition, because if we do start to break out of this sort of channel and we are putting in some bottom structure uh, after having this one, two, three, four, five, we are starting to build this bottom structure. If this is the case and we do tackle that resistance, it does give more confluence to the point that we are going to come up to that two zero range, come back for a higher low, and then retest this local high. Again, it's just a thought experiment, but it's all a, a potential play that could come in here. And right now we are back above our daily 20 EMA and we are holding it as support. So that could give the game away here. If we do keep holding this EMA and breaking this resistance, this is where we could start to see the uptick and really start dragging this EMA back up here. And, and we're starting to create this reversal and flipping the switch. And this was the lows here at 0 0.007. So it's all about tackling this resistance above us and it's all about holding this daily 20 ema we're in some sort of compression here looking for a breakout so i do believe over the next coming days or weeks we will see a confirmation of either a break of resistance or losing this ema support here and coming back in for a further correction so that's my bullish potential guys the inverse head and shoulders up to that 0 0.020 range on these previous highs here which was the wave two of our impulsive five wave correction and that would be the start of the flip of the switch and the reversal confirming these lows are in so for my bearish point of view and my thought experiment on the bearish side what we need to do is zoom out to the weekly time frame and get back on this level of ascending support i spoke about in a couple of previous videos and i said hey look on the on the weekly time frame if we can't start 
getting back above this local high here at 14. If we can't start getting back above that, then we are in for a bit of trouble here and potentially could be coming back down to retest this ascending support. Because if you look at it in this sort of sense, we've had one, two, three touch points on this ascending support line and haven't come back down here for a while. So if we do fail to get back above this 14 cent, which I'll show you why it's so important uh, in, a, in a little uh, in a second. But if we fail to get back above that and, and we do sort of see a, a continuation up to it, but fail, then I think we potentially start to come back for a deeper correction into to the later part of Q4 looking for a high level of support. Again, this is all thought experiments, but let me explain. So keep in mind this 14, uh, 0.014 range is what we need to get back above in order to confirm, I think, a higher retest back up to these highs as well, because what we've got ahead of us is key resistance. So we've got from this low retracing back to this high, you'll notice that 14,477 is a key level of resistance. So right now, are we just in a move up to that before having a deeper correction back down to this ascending support? And what we've got is a large A, B, C correction looking for ascending support before then attacking the breakout. I have spoke about this in prior videos uh, and zooming into the daily, let me explain this breakdown. And I've got this multi, uh, well, a couple of years ascending support on still. Now, if we look at the potential plays here, I said that we had this five wave correction over the last few weeks. Right now, what we could be doing is forming, we've just had an A, B, and right now we're looking for a C into resistance, and then a potential one, two, three, four, five wave back down, a uh, five wave move back down to support. What this would entail is something called a five, three, five correction. So if I get that up for you and show you guys quickly, so you'll notice that what you have is a five wave pullback correction, which is your A wave. And then you have a three wave A, B, C, which right now I think we formed the B and are in the C up to 0.014, followed by a one, two, three, four, five back down to confirm the larger A, B, C wave. So I hope that makes sense. So you've got five, three, five inside a large A, B, C. It works, there's waves within waves. So right now, this is why I'm saying, potentially we've had this five wave correction. Right now we're going for an A, B, C into resistance at this 0 0.014, followed by a five wave correction back down to this ascending support that we've been holding for a couple of years. I need to get that off, why have I cut that on still? So it literally works out as a five, three, five, back down to ascending support on this multi year ascending support that we've been holding since 22. You come up, you've come down, you've broken out. Even though we've come back into this channel, we'll still be holding a key level of support before looking for the continuation into 20, later 2024 into early 25. So it's a huge potential play. Uh, we do need, uh, this is something I wanna keep my eyes on. And why I'm saying in the short term, we could still be looking for more downside. This 0 0.0414 range is so crucial, that line's a bit wonky, so crucial to break out of, it really, Really is we've got this high here that we're under as resistance right now and we're looking to rally back into it if we fail do look for this correction back down to support that's my bearish thesis on this on this chart guys i hope you enjoyed the content today from chart nerd ta take care peace out